Oh, hi. Welcome to Flash Math. I didn't see you come in. Today we're going to be talking about dividing fractions, a relatively simple procedure that's going to play into what we learned about before, which is multiplying fractions. So let's get started. Before we do the procedure, let's talk about some key words we need to know. The first word we need to know is reciprocal. Can we get someone to add that in later? Reciprocal? Yeah, perfect. So a reciprocal is a fraction that when multiplied with its opposite is 1. And I'm going to give you an example right now. An example of that would be 4 over 7. Multiply that by 7 over 4. You're going to end up with 28 over 28. And 28 over 28, you know, is equal to 1. So a reciprocal is simply taking that fraction and flipping it upside down. The reciprocal of 1 half would be 2 over 1. The reciprocal of 5 fourths would be 4 fifths. It's simply taking a fraction like 3 fourths and reversing it, and that's how you get our reciprocal. And this plays a large part. The reciprocal of 3 fourths is, of course, 4 thirds. That's all a reciprocal is, and we're going to need to know that for today's lesson. The first thing you want to do is you want to write down our steps for dividing a fraction. And we have a really easy way to remember that. <laughs> With these three steps, we can remember how to divide a fraction. K, F, C. And remember this, we're going to set up a problem and I'm going to walk you through it. Problem is 3 fourths divided by 2 thirds. Okay, we need to apply our steps KFC and get a very tight, hasty, delicious answer. So, let's take a look. Our first one is K, and the K stands for keep the first. Write that down, please. Keep the first. What I mean by that is when we set up a problem, just like we did, keep the first. We want to take our first fraction, this guy right here, and we want to keep it the exact same. We don't want to do anything to it. We have, I'm off camera. We don't want to do anything. We have three things here. We have two fractions and a division sign. Keep the first fraction the exact same. Don't do anything to it. That's what the K stands for. Keep the first. The second part of our delicious herbs and spices would be this F. And the F stands for flip the second. So you're going to find the reciprocal of the second fraction. So here is our second fraction. And we are going to find the reciprocal of 2 thirds. Lisa, what is the reciprocal of 2 thirds? 3 halves. Perfect. So we're just going to put 3 over 2. That's our second step done. We've kept the first one the same, and we've flipped the second one. Our last step that we want to do, is where it gets complicated, so pay close attention, is we want to change the sign. And what I mean by change the sign is there is a sign inside of this problem. It's our division sign right here. We want to take this division sign and turn it into multiplication. Let's rewrite this problem with all of our ingredients of KFC. Rewriting this problem, we're going to get 3 fourths times 3 over 2. Now, it becomes a multiplication problem that we can solve. Because remember, in multiplication, we multiply straight across. We do not, 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 do not, not, not need a common denominator. So 3 times 3 becomes 9. 4 over 2, be 4 times 2 becomes 8. Let's simplify this guy down to 1 and 1, 8. Three steps to multiply a fraction. Keep the first, flip the second, change the sign. Sorry, thank you. Three steps to dividing a fraction. Let's try. Three steps to dividing a fraction. Keep the first, flip the second, change the sign. Those are the three steps. We need to remember KFC, and you'll always be able to divide fractions. 
All right, now that we have a fair understanding of how to divide with fractions, let's try it with one more example, this time adding in a mixed number to see how we'll do. So the equation I want to work with is 1 and 1 half divided by 6. 1 and 1 half divided by 6. Now, we have this mixed number, and we want to take care of this first, because we're working with our dividing fractions, we don't want to work with mixed numbers. So we're going to change it into an improper fraction. Remember how we did that? We multiplied the denominator times the whole number, which is 2 times 1, that'd be 2. We take this product over here, we add the product to our numerator, so our answer is going to be 3 over 2, which makes sense because 2 goes, uh, two goes into 3 one time with one left over. So, let's rewrite this as 3 over 2. Now, 3 over 2 divided by 6, now we can get going. All right. So we realize that this whole number is in reality 6 over 1. So I'm going to rewrite that one as well. Now that we have 3 halves divided by 6 over 1, we can set it up, follow KFC, and solve it. Remember, we always want to follow KFC. And we're going to make ourselves a little reminder so we know always to follow KFC here. Let's see, let me draw this for me. Put this right here. He's got little glasses. He's got, of course, in there. He's got the mustache. It's very famous, okay? Uh, and he's got, of course, yeah, there we go. So remember, we draw ourselves a reminder KFC. Remember, he always says, Colonel always says, follow KFC. It's his bow tie. All right, this little bolo. So remember to follow our KFC at all times. Let's get started. First we have the K. K stands for keep the first. So we want to keep this guy exactly how it is. Second one is our F. Second part of our secret herbs and spices is the F, which is flip the second. We have the six over one. We're going to change that to one sixth. Now we have three halves divided by one sixth. Last step right here is change the sign. We want to get this, go to this guy, change it to a multiplication sign. Now we have, I'll rewrite down below, 3 halves times 1 over 6. 1 over 6, and that equals 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 6 is 12, but stop. Because it is very important. I'm going to write this over here. Do not forget to simplify. Do not forget to simplify. It's a very important lesson. It's KFC and then remember to simplify. And then you'll have completed. So we need to simplify down 3 twelves. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. Raise your hand and tell me, what do we get? One fourth. We get one fourth, and that's our final answer. Everyone got it? Yeah. Okay, now we're done. <laughs>